I got a little job for you. It's just temporary. The folks here, they don't make no never mind who you are or what you've done. It was a pleasure for me to talk to you, Guillermo, and also because I, uh, I talked to Dan, you know, my countryman, uh, my Danish countryman, you're a brilliant cinematographer last week. I, I've met him several times and he's such a, such a brilliant artist. And of course, this is your fourth collaboration. Mm -hmm. and, and I wanted to ask you, because I remember reading an interview with you where you described him as one of sort of the, the five masters of, of lighting in, in, in the world of cinematography. So I wanted to hear what is it specifically about his use of, of lighting that impresses you and that makes you hold him in such high esteem? I, I think now he is one of the three best <laughs> Wow! He's moving he's up. Going up. He's going yeah. up. <laughs> I, I, I think, Dan, uh, you know, when we talk about uh, painters, like we can talk about Hammershoy or we can talk about Edward Hopper, or we can talk about uh, Thomas Hart Benton or the realist. He has a very quick way of assimilating the, the artistry of that light that we reference. And he never makes it feel like movie light. Mm. Uh, some cinematographers uh, create this sense that is a natural beauty. Uh, the light has a natural place and it feels organic and dramatic at the same time there's mm. no artificiality even when he's doing artifice he's very <laughs> good at that and uh i think the way he assimilated the classical studio lighting on nightmare alley the way he was able to light it like a black and white film but we do it did it in color that is an enormous feat enormous mm. i think that's why he's now on the top three <laughs> and, and, the, and the other thing, look, I love working with him. He's smart, cultured, artistic, and fast. Mm. He's, he's the fastest cinematographer I work with, and he gets to beauty in a few minutes. Wow. And, and he is, uh, you know, I would say he's a, one of my best friends. Because wow. we, I trust him completely when he says, can you give me a little more time? Can, what do you think of this? I listen to him. Mm. And I don't listen to many people. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Get down over there! Get down over there! The down. wheels turn and the electrical current's got to go somewhere. Major, please. If you just permit it, sir, you can go. We're American! Just keep going! Everybody back up! As I said, of course, this is your fourth collaboration, and I know it's so difficult to distill such a creative cooperation to just a few a few shots. But I was wondering, do you have a particular shot that you're very proud of in terms of your four collaborations? I mean, personally, it's a tie between uh, Bradley Cooper sitting in the burning living room in the house in Nightmare uh, Alley, and then also the underwater shot of the creature and, and Sally Hawkins in Shape of Water. Yeah, I think I, I think there's a shot that I'm incredibly proud of, which is the shot where uh, Stanton comes to the carnival for the first time, and we start on the on the uh, Ferris wheel, and we go down really low to the ground. In comes the shadow of Stanton walking into the carnival. I love that. Uh, I love uh, the final shot of uh, Shape of Water, uh, but I also love. Uh, a, a couple of shots on Crimson Peak when when we have Jessica Chastain running down the stairs and her gown opens like a butterfly wing and, and, and the camera is just gliding beautifully. That's or the introduction to the house. And it's in, difficult uh, to pick a favorite. It is. I think Dan is a painter and I'm a, I'm a guy that likes and uh, does very careful composition. So we marry very beautifully. Mm. You don't fool people, Stan. 